G'day. Here's a very, very simple little challenge for you. I trust you know what an obtuse angle is, or an obtuse angle triangle. Remember, an acute angle is an angle less than 90 degrees, so it's sharp. An obtuse angle is an angle greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, and we call it a blunt or an obtuse angle. Now, I want you to draw an obtuse angled triangle. That is a tri triangle with an obtuse angle in it. You can put it in any corner. I think having it up at the apex is simpler. But there's your triangle. Make sure it's a fairly big one. A bit of scrap paper. And here's the challenge. Just using straight lines, I want you to divide this obtuse angle triangle into acute angles. Now, or acute angle triangles. Now, I'll even be a bit more generous and say that it can be done with seven acute angle triangles. I'm greatly tempted to point out a few obvious things to you, but I think at this point I'd just like you to try. So stop the video, draw your triangle, and see if you can divide it up into seven acute angle triangles. I'll wait. Welcome back. I hope you've had a go. Here's the problem. I hope you found it difficult. I certainly did. But once you realise a principle, uh, it does become easier. Let's think about our obtuse angle at the top. I think you, we can agree there is no doubt that we need at least one line to divide it, because if nothing divides it, it remains obtuse and we don't solve the problem. So we could have one line or maybe two or three or four, but let's start with one. What's the problem if we use one line? Well, the problem is this. Although it will make two acute angled, uh, angles up here, when it reaches the other side, it will do one of two things. It will either make two right angles, because it's perpendicular, or, if it's slightly oblique, it will make one acute angle, but it will make another obtuse angle. And we've got the same problem all over again. So here we've got another obtuse angle triangle that we have to divide up. So we really haven't benefited in any way. Uh, and it's probably even worse if it goes directly across, because if we end up with two right angle triangles, they're definitely not acute angle, and we have two triangles that we now have to divide up into acute angle triangles. So what's the problem? The problem is that we must divide this top angle by drawing a line in, but when or if the line gets to the other side, it causes problems. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion is that we must draw the line here, but it must not reach the other side. That's it. I hope you can see the logic. Here we have our two acute angles. So we've solved part of our problem up here. If it doesn't reach the other side, what do we do with it? Well, it must split or bend. And I suggest that if you make a nice little look acute angle triangle here, we've partly solved at least this problem down the bottom part of the triangle. We now have these two uh, obtuse angles. If we divide them and join these, I hope you can see these are all acute, these are all acute, these are all acute, and these are all acute. And we do the same out this side. Three acute angles, three acute angles, three acute angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven acute angle triangles. So basically, 
by placing a pentagon in the middle, we've managed to solve our problem. This is a great little exercise to give young students. It requires no calculation. It's just drawing lines. There's no algebra, no trigonometry, nothing fancy. Just drawing lines and having fun. Now, if you want to extend it, you might start asking questions. What if? These are good questions to ask in mathematics. What if I divide it with two lines? Can I come up with some... Uh, creative structure to get all acute angled triangles. What if I did three? What if I did four? Is there a pattern? The second challenge that you can come up with is this one. And I want to leave you with this. This is just pure exploration using two, three or four. But the challenge that comes immediately from this one is as follows. I'll just do it up here on the top right. Now imagine a square, an exact square. So I'll mark all the sides of equal length, all right angles. Challenge. How would you divide the square into 10 acute angled triangles? How would you do it? The hint is that you use this knowledge. And what it leads to is an interesting question. A particular point needs to be located somewhere and it requires some interesting geometry. So perhaps I might create that as a sequel video, but I'll leave that with you unanswered in this one. I've shown you how to solve that problem. Now you can try to divide a square into 10 acute angle triangles. That's my sense of mischief this time. I thank you for watching and encourage you to leave your comments, to like the video and to subscribe to find the sequel. Look forward to seeing you.